this area right here is really just um where I do all my computer work and everything whenever I'm trying to fix stuff or something. I just uh have my parts and tools and everything right here. Yeah. I have a video of this compact Vizario V2000 on my channel. Um, you can look at that. It basically, says how good it is and stuff. Dark. I can't. I haven't gotten it to work. I need a new motherboard, I think, so yeah. Alright, this is a um, computer I got yesterday. Looks normal. Um, it's another Dell Dimension 8200. Just like this thing here. And th I have another one too. Um, so it had no RAM. It uh, has a 1.8 gigahertz Pentium 4. No video card or anything. Um, no hard drive. You know, it came with a CD, uh, CD rewritable drive, an Ethernet card, and a sound card. But, hmm, that's odd. It did come with a power supply, and the reason why it's like that is because of this thing. I have no idea why this power supply was in this computer. Because, first of all, it's 24 pin, it's 400 watts, and it switches in the back. That's why the person, whoever had it, pried out that little area for the switch. Um. It has these, uh, it has all these power connectors, these, this type, I don't even know what, I, I, even know, I don't know what it's called, but there are, um, five of those, I think, a whole bunch of these normal ones, yeah, 24 pin, 4 pin right here, the 6 pin right here, the 24 pin right here, so, uh, it had a little 20, had a 24 pin connector hooked up to here that got converted into a 20 pin connector to hook up to there. And ouch, why the hell am I bleeding? Ow. How did that happen? Ow. Ow. Okay, I have no idea how that happened. Okay, anyways, um. So, yeah, this computer's quite unusual. These are all my other computers. Um, this is a Dell Precision 360, which I originally had um, a 2.4 gigahertz Pentium 4, a 128 megabyte video card, which I uh, put in a this uh, gateway computer, which I'll take I'll take a video of, of in a minute, and um, one gigabyte of RAM. This 8250 has had. Um, 2.4 gigahertz Pentium 4, uh, 64 megabyte video card, um, uh, I think 512 megabytes of RAM, yeah. I never, uh, got it running, because I didn't have a hard drive for it. And this is a Dimension 3000, which I did have running, it's just that, since it has no video card slot or anything, I decided not to keep it, um, I mean, not to do much with it. It had 512 megabytes of RAM, of course 256, um, 2.4 gigahertz Pentium 4. Only one of them is working right now, and that would be this one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna fire this thing up. So, yep, that's my screensaver. I'm not saying that. My mouse isn't working right now. Okay, so right now it has a 2.33 gigahertz Pentium 4, only 256 megabytes of RAM. This laptop here, which it just says Ultra on it. 2 gigahertz Pentium 4. Um, I don't know how much RAM it has or what the video is. This one, a um, HP Pavilion ZT1000. 
It has a 1.6 gigahertz Pentium 4 and 512 megabytes of RAM. I don't know the video on it. So yeah. It seems a game computer that we've been having a lot of trouble with. Um, there's a video on our channel, um, an update of it, and the parts and everything for it. This is a um, the uh, it's just a gateway computer that we use for our gaming and stuff currently. As of now, it's not that bad. It's got a three gigahertz Pentium four, a one hundred twenty eight megabyte video card. It's actually pretty good. It's a big sound card and Intel, a big Ethernet Intel Ethernet card. Ethernet card. Down one um, gigabyte of RAM. Two, one gig. Shut up. One gigabyte of RAM. We bought extra for it. So we have one point five gigabytes, but. Uh, the person sent us the wrong RAM. And we're going to upgrade um, the video card, but he bought a PCI Power 16 via AGP. And the, the hard drive in there is 80 gigabytes. Stop lying. This, um, and right now we're doing source test K on it. I'm talking to this guy, Which is mapping, basically. Steam and yeah. one right here. Um, the elementary 200. It's not actually mine. I gave it to my mom so she could do um, her email stuff and everything on it. But I did swap out hard drives to make it better. So that's just another one of them. It has um, right now it only has 768 megabytes of RAM and it has a 128 megabyte video card. With um, a 2.26 gigahertz Pentium 4. I uh, sort of use this thing. Um, I used to play SimCity 4 sometimes. I haven't played in a while. And uh, because for some reason it's only working on this computer, I think I can only put, have one copy of it on a computer at a time. So yeah. I have Steam on it, but I can't really play Counter Strike Source or anything. No, because um, the video card it actually isn't that great. Yeah, this is an Xbox I got. It's a uh, it doesn't I don't I only have a power cord for it. Um, I don't have any controllers. I know it works though. And the PS2, I don't have any games for anything, but I do have controllers and everything. It works. We don't have any games for it, though. And a GameCube that we actually bought. Okay, so this is a 27-inch um, monitor that can be used as a TV, too. And it even has a... Uh, built-in DVD drive on the side so you can watch the movies on that and right now it's hooked up to the GameCube so I'm gonna turn it on this thing on does that and everything the only thing wrong with it is that as a computer monitor all the colors are like green and everything and I can't change it using the settings it's really hard to get right and I tried and I can't do it <laughs> 